All right, hello everybody. My name is Koi, and I'm the tech guy, if you will, for Bin and Bison Overtime. And we're about to do a Bison Overtime show in about an hour. So first, we gotta get the studio set up. Yeah, so first, we gotta get the lights on. So we just have a few switches. And over here, this is just our regular lights. Here we have our actual studio lighting, which is controlled by a board. And this is all of our audio mics. And here's the on-air sign. So we flip that whenever we go live. So this is our board, so this we can control the, the hot and the cold for each individual light with these little dials. And if you look over there, we also have a master switch. So here we can turn up and down the masters. And each individual light is also controlled by this panel right here. Here we have our teleprompter computer. So Bison Overtime is an unscripted show. They just have notes that they go off of. But if we were to have, if we were to do our bin news, then this is what this is what the teleprompter controller sees, and then they can go up and down using these controls. And then they just change pace based on how fast the anchor talks. All right, the next step is we gotta get the cameras ready. So first we gotta turn on a little viewfinder so we can actually see what we're doing. And then we just turn the actual camera on itself. And over here we can see what we have set up. So this camera is usually on, this camera is usually on Malik. So we'll just pull it over here. And then with this little knob right here, we can zoom in and zoom out. So then once they actually sit down, we'll get it lined up. And then we zoom in all the way. And this knob right here is the focus. In addition, so if we do have enough people where we have a camera oper operator, which we haven't this year, they'll be able to put on this headset. If I can get it off. And this headset allows you to talk to who's ever controlling the board inside. So you can just hit the button and then you're able to talk to them in there. And then they can give you the countdowns and the camera person can give the cues to the anchors. Then over here, we'll just do the exact same thing. Turn on the screen and turn on the actual camera. And then once Dash sits in his spot, we'll get that set up as well. All right, so here we have the actual anchor desk. So if you look from behind, it's not as appealing from the front because behind it's kind of, then you can see all the behind the scenes of it. But once the anchors sit here, they grab their own mic and they run this up through a shirt, just like my mic I have on, but they're all of their own. And those just go into a box that sends the audio into an audio board in there. That's simple enough. Here we have a copy of the script during our bin. This is from our bin news show last night. So in case anything happens with the teleprompter, then this is what you'll see. So although I said we don't have a teleprompter for this show, I'll turn it on just to show you guys. So here you just hit this button and then you should, so there you can see the lens. And then what you should see in a couple seconds is a teleprompter that'll pop up. And this is what the anchors read when they sit at the desk to read the news. All right, so here's from our show last night. You can see that we can change the pace depending on how fast they read. And then as it, as it scrolls, the anchor just reads this and that's how you get your news. So in addition, when the anchors are sitting at the desk, we also have this screen right here. So whatever is going through to the live show, they can see, they can see so they can see themselves in here when it's during the show. They can also see the commercials on here. So this is just kind of to give it, they can see Dash waving to you guys. And you can also see, yeah, they can also see the commercials so they know what's going on, if everything looks right. If not, they'll let me know. And this is our window, so this is where you can see into the control room. You can see Malik working on his notes in there. And so this is how I see the show. I can't hear him unless, it's, unless I have the mics unmuted, so I gotta make sure I have that. If I wanna actually talk to him in commercial, I gotta actually walk in here so their, their audio isn't coming through the thing. Here is a green screen. We also don't use this for buys and overtime, but we do use this sometimes for bin news. So what we do is we just key this out, and this can be, this can be a sports update background, this can be the weather forecast, this can be whatever you want it to be. And also over here, we also just have this black background, which is nice to use sometimes, but we can also just create a solid black background with the green screen. So we don't always have to use this one. And that's pretty much it for the studio. So now we'll go check out the control room. All right, so here I have the control room and this is just where everything, when we go live, this is how we control everything. This is also where Malik and Dash get ready. Dash is recording right now, but Malik is right here looking over his notes, making sure everything looks good. So this is our audio board. So the only two buttons I basically have to worry about are these two, which is the, which mute and unmute the mic. So every time we go to commercial, I'll mute them. We also have these dials, which those just control the actual volume of it. Here we have the actual TriCaster itself. So this is how we control what's going through. So whatever is on this screen, this is what you're seeing at home whenever we do a live show. So using this program control, I can change whatever camera's on there. So here we got camera two. Camera one, which is still zoomed in, and then we also have the top camera. And then every time we want to go to commercial, I just select it on here, and then I do, I hit a different button, and then it goes right into commercial. And every time we go to commercial, I'll just mute them. Simple enough. 
the pink. We also have we also have the graphics that we put up. So every time Dash and Malik come on screen after coming back from a break, we'll put up their graphics. So I just select them, and then we'll put up the name of them. And we also have graphics for upcoming games that Malik made. And there we go. I'll move on. All right, so this screen, this is just another preview monitor. So here's the preview screen, which is basically a setup to what's before you actually send it to go to live. This is the live screen, and this is just a clock that we have. This is just a PowerPoint. This controls the TVs in the background, so we can just choose whatever background we want, and then we have a few set up, and that's how that works. All right, so in addition, whenever we go live, this is kind of our indicator. This is playing the actual channel itself. So we go live at 11.30 for Bison Overtime. And this shows what's actually on our, this is just our channel right now. So here we can get a good idea of what's going through. If we're having issues, we can see it right here. And this computer just controls, just controls the live program. And then this box, I don't mess with this much, but this is basically, this controls our TriCaster, which is sending stuff to live. And it basically controls all the audio, all the audio and stuff goes into here. And yeah, that's about it. What's up? It's Malik on Bison Overtime. We're going to show you a little how we do things before the show. All right, so before the show, me and Dad go through our notes so we get everything organized. As you can see, I'm undressed, when I'm, I'm not dressed yet. So this is, you know, pre-stuff. When I come back, you know, I'll be looking fly. Now we're fresh. You know what I'm saying? Now? We should do mic checks and get our cameras ready, and then we should be good to go start the show. All right, guys, make sure you tune into the show today. All right, everyone. So now we got the mic checks done. You can hear them still talking a little bit, but while they're just talking, I just adjust it, try to make sure the levels on the TriCaster are all set right. In addition, we also got their cameras set up and ready to go. So now we just gotta gotta do a countdown to 11:30, and then we're good to go. All right. So we're about a minute from going live. We got the cameras ready still, the guys are ready in there. We've got our timer going, we got about a minute and 20 seconds. And then once we go live, I'll just hit play and then we should be good and we got a show. All right guys, I'll check in a little bit later in the middle of the show, but see you then. All right, so now we're in, in the middle of one of our commercial breaks. So each commercial is two minutes long. So I mainly just sit here and I'll give them cues. So for example, we have one minute coming up for our commercial. So I'll just hold up one finger, let them know that we got one minute left. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry about that. As you guys probably noticed by now, they're trying to get my attention. We had some issues because I forgot to talk about volleyball, so they're wondering what we we're going to do about it. But now we just finished up our show, so if you want to see the final product, you can check it out right here, and you'll be able to watch it there. And thank you guys for watching this.